Hi everybody, we're gonna do a Q&A. We're gonna do a little bit of styling for this particular blazer, okay? This is a blazer out of this season's collection. Uh, it's a Model 3 blazer by the Armory, and it is in quite an unusual color. Um, it doesn't look that unusual, but I'm gonna to explain to you why it is unusual. When you think about navy blazers, you actually are normally thinking about this sort of color, right? This is like a dark navy blazer. This is that traditional classic color, and probably everyone already has one. This is something that's a little bit lighter. This is like a royal blue, a French navy. It's a really great color, especially, especially, especially for the summer. You know, it's got all the kind of like elegance and formality of a navy blazer, but it's just that little bit more interesting for the summer. Also, in our case, you know, we normally do our navy blazers with patch pockets, but we also try and keep aside like a certain section of our collection for slightly more formal looks, right? And that's why rather than do patch pockets on this, we actually did flat pockets. Um, now, how would you put this together? Okay, so a dressy way of putting it together would be this, right? Like navy blazer, gray trouser obviously, and then you could use something a little more fun for the shirt. So you could use a red striped shirt like this, or obviously a white shirt would be no problem. You could wear it with a necktie and with a little bit of a flourish of color in the pocket square. Um, having a knit also helps to break it up really, really well. Like these are our new Drumore knits, and I think in this pale gray, it looks really great. But let's have a look at some other options as well. Now, you remember I was saying like, okay, this is kind of an unusual blue. It's a little bit lighter. It's not something that you don't that you see as often, but it's really good in the summer. This sort of navy for me always feels like a little bit more of a cooler weather, colder thing. You know, it's a darker, it's a saturated color. It's a little more somber. This is a little lighter. It's a little more fun. And what happens when you're looking at trousers, right? Like I'm wearing today a pair of fairly dark kind of grayish olive trousers. They look great with this navy, but they actually don't look that great with this kind of royal blue. It's a little funny. And this is what I wanted to kind of illustrate to you. When you have a color like this, you know, sorry, I figure out this might be a better place for this. When you have a color like this, that has this kind of freshness to it, you want to avoid colors that are a little too dark. It sounds obvious, but let me illustrate it to you, right? I love this olive trouser. I have a pair myself. I think it's great, but it looks really weird with this particular strong, fresh blue. What works much better is this olive. It's still an olive, but it's a couple of shades paler. I mean, I guess it's almost a sage, but I might be splitting hairs there. But I love these two colors together. I do not love these two colors together. As we go into the khaki family, obviously this is a tried and tested one. You know, just that pain, plain, Pale khaki looks great with this fresh blue, but even a slightly more dark one works also. In fact, I actually find these two quite sophisticated. It's really like treading that very fine line of like somber, but not dead. All right, now, what else could we put with this? Well, let's say we were going to stick with this trouser. I've got some interesting shirts to show you. Start with this. Actually, I gotta get off the hanger. This is the Armory's holiday shirt. It's got this beautiful, bright blue triple stripe on it, like that. And I love how the blue and the blue stripe just sit so well together. Right, and then you have the trouser there. And then for a shoe, in a case like this, actually, I would use something like this. Yohei Fukuda's brown calf cap toes. You know, a little bit more dressy, but I think in this situation it's very appropriate. The trousers are actually wool and cotton mix, so they're not like super casual either. Like this is a lovely way to put together something that's a little bit more formal than smart casual. But certainly no black tie. <laughs> now, what else? Um, ma, ma, ma. Let's see, we're gonna go back to that nice olive we were looking at. I like this. So this is a 100 hands shirt. It's um, actually 
100 hands for the armory. It's called the standard line, so that's their machine-made line for us. And they do this great pale brown double stripe like that. And in this case, I think you could pair it very successfully with this olive. You know, you're getting all those earth tones on the inside, and then you're layering it with that royal blue on top. And then shoe-wise, I would actually go with brown suede, like that. Like our Hudson tassel loafers would be a nice pairing in a situation like that. Yeah? All right, finally, one last one. This video is gonna be a little bit shorter and sweeter than normal. Let's have a look at the really pale khaki, which is a nice color. So there's that pale khaki. And in this case, tobacco. Tobacco like that, polo shirt. And this would be great with white canvas sneakers. I think it'd be awesome with white canvas sneakers. I think also if you want to be a little bit more dandy, this. So this is the Wyndham, um, which is our, oh no, sorry, the Gloucester. This is the Gloucester, which is our wingtip derby in tan calf. And I think this whole color combination also has just this beautiful, fresh, summery vibe to it. You know, and that is the beauty of a blazer like this, right? Like the beauty of this blazer is that a color has just such life to it that you really want to be putting things together with it that are bright, that are kind of, they just feel like they should be in the sunshine. Alrighty, um, that is about it for now. I hope this has been useful. If you have any suggestions for like what else we could put together with this blue blazer, we would love to hear them. And that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.